guys and gals, how you doing? I got a really cool package. Uh, I don't know. I think I had talked about it in one of my previous videos. I use Upper Deck E-Packs sometimes uh, just to kind of scratch the itch of uh, buying a pack or two of cards. Um, <clears throat> so they only do hockey and they do like CFL football, but I don't think anybody buys that. They do some Marvel Universe stuff, but the cool thing about what they do is you order your packs. Um, they have like SP Game Use. They have Allure. They have Upper Deck Series 1, 2 from a couple years past. Um, and what you do is you open them virtually and I was kind of skeptical at first thinking, oh, well, you know, I'm getting these virtual packs. How, you know, legitimate can they be? You know, what's the random logarithm that figures these things out? You know, am I going to just get a bunch of random base and some crap in here? Um, so I opened up, you can actually buy it by the case, by the box or just by the pack. So I ended up opening a bunch of Allure. Uh, I really like Allure. I think it's a good looking product. And I ended up opening some... Uh, SP game used. So Com C is actually the company they utilize, and what Com C does is send you over a receipt. Um, normally these take like three or four months to get to you if you just use the standard shipping, but for the extra shipping, it actually doesn't cost much more. The items you can see in here were five hundred twenty-seven dollars and forty-nine cents. Um, so I will show you what I ended up pulling out of here. There is an absolute stunner in here. Um, the big ticket, big ticket card in here. But I will show you, so this is how they come. They come in stacks like this. Um, I'm not sure where it is, so we'll try to play this off so you can't see it first. Uh, yeah, that's it right there on the back. So I'm going to hide that one. All right, so it's on the bottom of that stack right there. So on the first pile I got, and I did a pretty decent size order. The more cards you order, the more expensive it is. So the first card I hit was a Cody Glass. This is a uh, 7 of 50. It's the top 50 green. I think emerald green. Is that what it's called? Uh, doesn't say, but it's the top 50. It's very cool. These are really neat because what they're called is the Sunset Parallel. I don't know if these come in regular packs of Allure, but if you get five base cards, you can combo them into this color set. So I got Marshawn, Ovechkin, Crosby. I did get a Kale McCarr, which is really nice. A Kirby, which is really nice. Quinn Hughes Short Print. Those are the sunsets I'm used to seeing in there, I think. But that actually, I think, is a pink diamond, now that I say that. If you look at them, you can see one's more of like a salmon color and one's a pink. So Quinn Hughes short print, Kirby short print, Suzuki. There's a Quinn white and a Makar short print. So very nice there. Oh, I did get some uh, what appears to be some SPX, too. So somebody actually offered me it. You can trade with people online, too, which is really cool. Somebody offered me a trade for this. I really wanted this card. I like Barrett Hayton a lot. Uh, so this is his Obsidian... Black Obsidian Rookie. Ooh, does that look pretty gummed up? No, it's just the way that the card looks. So these are all come top loaded if you choose. It's 25 cents more to top load them. It only makes sense. There's Tashir or uh, Texier. Uh, there's Rem Pitlick. It's the blue. There's a nice Barrett Hayton. I actually got this card uh, previously, and uh, it was a redemption. So now it's filled, and there it is. Uh, Victor Olofsson. Uh, Anders Lee. There is a Allure Top 50 Blue Auto, no numbering of Joel Farabee, uh, Redemption. Another Olofsson, Max Veranu, Cody Glass, Blue, uh, Blue Line, 13 of 25. Very nice card. I like that a lot. And then a Barrett Hate and Green, and that's to 30 of 50. So out of the Black Lustrous Rookie, I got an Alexander Texier, nice four-color patch. Um, very cool. I like that a lot. This is another one that I hit in here, and I hadn't seen these before. These are called Black Elysiums, one of three of Philippe Myers. Very cool card. It's got the Superfractor in the back, and the card itself is black. So it's got, like, the black Superfractor's color. So I thought that was extremely cool. I hit that, and this is the banger that I hit right here. Look at this thing. Quinn Hughes, purple diamond, two, uh, one of ten. One of ten Quinn Hughes. I mean, that card will do, I would say, probably 300 bucks raw as it sits. That's saying he doesn't win the Calder. Let's look at this thing right out of the package and see. Ooh, it looks pretty dirty. Man, oh man, I hope that cleans up. That's not super cool. Yeah, it looks like it's just handprints and stuff. I always have a microfiber set next to me. Yeah, car looks extremely clean. 
This looks like maybe it was handled with a little bit too much care. Oops, sorry guys, I mean to bump the camera. Let's clean up on aisle Quinn. But I figured hitting this out of there it was a $12.49 pack of Allure. Couldn't really beat it. Quinn Hughes, purple diamond, four of 10, or sorry, four of 10, one of 10. Oh, every time you touch it, you get a new fingerprint on it. So that'll definitely go off the grade. I do see a couple uh, surface imperfections. Uh, well, they're not horrible. I can't really tell if they're surface imperfections or what they are, but absolute stunner right there, guys. I like that a lot. I also love that Phil, uh, Philippe Meyer or Phil Meyer black uh, Elysium. So there's that really, really cool card. Of course, I went and bought more card savers, and I bought card saver twos like a dope. I meant my card saver um, ones, which are these big tall ones that I'm putting the card in now. And of course, I bought the wrong ones. I don't think PSA cares. I think probably what they do is end up just cutting the top, cutting down the sides. That way your card doesn't get damaged. But uh, I think that thing is awesome. Purple Diamond Quinn Hughes Rookie. Um, hey, you get a free top loader. And then the other card I'd probably send off the grade would be this bad boy right here. This Phil Myers, uh, one of three. So we'll see. It's the first one I've seen come out of here with fingerprints on it. Um, I know obviously Com C does all the handling. I don't know how they, they order them. I don't know how the uh, logarithm's done, like I said, but, uh, very, very cool. So one of three Phil Myers, uh, defenseman for... Defenseman for the uh, Philadelphia Flyers. So, very cool. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm going to have some hit parade stuff coming this afternoon. I'm just waiting for UPS to show up. Um, but, a bunch of numbered cards. Um, these are the two big boys out of Allure. I've got some really cool stuff coming out of SP uh, or out of SP Game Used. Get a couple big boys out of there. Some draft day, uh, drafts day, what are they called? The draft marker game day ones. The ones with the big letters, the manufactured relics. I think that Kale McCarr might go, that Quinn might go. So, very cool. And I think this was probably like 30 bucks to ship this because I rushed it. So I could get the card and actually grade it. Um, but tell me what you think. Tell me if you think it's a, a neat process. Check it out. It's Upper Deck E-Pack. Um, very, 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 very cool. I'll put those in my grading box down here. And uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for another video. And uh, catch you guys all in the next one. Take care.